Well, this is a little bit of a weird video. So I didn't get my normal stuff done this weekend. Uh, we'll, we'll get prime answers in next weekend. It's been a bit of a busy one. But one thing I wanted to post on Saturday that I didn't get an opportunity to was about Twilight Princess HD and the Wind Waker HD. Now, I could have just saved this stuff for tomorrow. But frankly, when it comes to rumors like this, I like to kind of keep them self-contained if and when I can. And this felt like a great time to do this because, look, we've been hearing rumors about Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD dating back to last year. And a lot of it stemming from Jeff Grubb. Jeff Grubb has been essentially stating that the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD are already ported to Nintendo Switch and Nintendo's sitting on it. And one thing that was noted last week in their final Nintendo show of the week, Jeff Grubb's final Nintendo show, uh, The Last of the Nintendogs, he noted something that he recently discovered that he wasn't fully aware of, and that is that according to people that are in the know with Nintendo, so his sources, Nintendo is just sitting on a lot of things. And apparently Nintendo sits on a lot of things a lot of the time. What does he mean by that? Well, he's inferring that not only is Nintendo sitting on the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD as being complete and done, but Nintendo is sitting on many other games as well. Now, Jeff Grubb has previously even put his hair on the line saying that Metroid Prime Remaster is coming out this holiday, and he's been very, very firm about that and does believe it's getting announced in our direct next month. But he also thinks Twilight Princess HD and Wind Waker HD will be announced in our direct next month as well. Now, he's not sure where they would slot that in. Would it be the December game? Could it be an early January game to help kick off the new year? There's a lot of speculation on where those games could fit in, but he just basically didn't realize that Nintendo sits on so many games. Now, this is just according to his sources. Now, for things we do know they are sitting on, well, we know, obviously, Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp, but there was extenuating circumstances that they're sitting on that one. So when I start to think deep in my mind, what else could they be sitting on? Well, if they have the Metroid Prime remaster done, and it's been done for a while, that would be a game they are sitting on. If they have ported Twilight Princess and Windmaker HD, say, last year, again, that's more games they are sitting on. Are they sitting on a new Mario game as well they haven't announced? It's very curious because the last time I remember that I knew Nintendo was sitting on a game was Mario Odyssey back in 2017. When they showed off that game, technically in the teaser for Nintendo Switch in 2016, and then again early in 2017 when they officially announced it what was interesting is the game was basically done it was already gone gold and ready to go nintendo was just sitting on it for the holiday season because they had breath of the wild to start of the year they had splatoon 2 they had obviously their summer releases and xenoblade they had so many games coming out in 2017 they figured mario odyssey made sense as that big holiday title and then here we are sitting with the twilight princess and the wind waker hd and we know nintendo has had some sort of Zelda game release every single year, and this would be the first year that hasn't happened, at least yet. Now, they could announce this as a dual pack, and I would love if they did that. It would be very unlike Nintendo to do it. It feels like they would just release them individually and sell them at 60 bucks a pop and spread out their releases and milk the hell out of it because that's what they do. But if Nintendo did release it as a double pack, as Jeff Grubb once thought they would, it could still hit this year and be a December game. Nintendo has notably had big December games in the past, and right now Nintendo does not have a big title slotted for December, so this could actually line up to be a just-before-Christmas release. Again, this is assuming it comes out at all. Now, the reason some people might be sick and tired of hearing about these games really has to do with the Zelda 35th anniversary last year, or really Nintendo's lack of celebrating it. Now, I have it on good authority that Nintendo truly did have plans for Zelda's 35th anniversary, and they kind of just quelched them at the last moment. Uh, no one really knows why they did that. Uh, that's, you know, the Zelda Game & Watch wasn't supposed to be it. There was supposed to be more. Maybe it's just because they were already feeling like Breath of the Wild 2 might have to get pushed. Maybe it was because they just felt like it wasn't the right time with the pandemic and people not having as much money. I don't really know because they did do the big, you know, Mario blowout before. So I, it, this is one of those situations where I'm not really sure. And the people involved, because there were going to be content creators involved in this, aren't really sure either what happened. Nintendo just kind of pulled the plug without really saying a whole lot. So 
Yeah, it would make sense then if Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD were being sat on since then because maybe they were going to be part of the Zelda 35th anniversary. Start with Skyward Sword, or maybe, yeah, maybe it was supposed to be Skyward Sword HD and then Wind Waker and Twilight Princess later, and Zelda Game and Watch, and who knows, maybe there was going to be a whole collection. Maybe Skyward Sword HD wasn't going to be an individual release. Maybe it was supposed to be packed in. So, I don't know, there's a whole lot that we're never going to find out, but what I am certain of is I don't think Twilight Princess HD and the Wind Waker HD are going to be stuck on Wii U forever. I am very, very confident that if we don't even get it this Switch generation, that it will be on a future generation system. Nintendo knows the selling power of Zelda, and Twilight Princess is the second best selling Zelda game of all time. That game, bare minimum, is not going to have its HD version left to die on Wii U, unless they plan to re-HD it, or 4K it, or remake it in some way. And that's obviously an exception, because you're not looking for a port at that point. That is doing something new with the game. I don't think the Wind Waker HD necessarily needs that treatment. Obviously, you can get some 4K texture treatment and all that for a next uh, generation system, but it's, a, it's not something that needs that sort of work. I think what they did with the Wind Waker HD is plenty enough to just last the ages. I obviously, a lot of people thought the original art style was enough to last through the ages, but it at least needed to be stretched into an HD resolution. I'm curious on your thoughts on this rumor. This has been one of those ongoing rumors for a long time, and Jeff Grubb has been very, very reliable with the sorts of things that he's confident in, and he's confident in Metroid Prime Remaster this holiday. He's confident that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are actually done, and Nintendo's sitting on it, and he doesn't know why Nintendo is sitting on them, other than thinking maybe they don't need a lot of marketing time uh, from announcement to release, which is possible I, it, it's really anyone's guess right now. Nintendo does what Nintendo wants to do when Nintendo wants to do it. Like, when are we going to hear about a next generation system or a pro whenever Nintendo wants to tell us? Could be years from now. Uh, when are we going to hear about uh, a new Mario game? And we haven't heard about one since 2017. Not even a murmur of a rumor that one's even being worked on. I don't know. <laughs> whenever Nintendo feels like telling us, oh, they supposedly have a Donkey Kong game in the works. When are they going to tell us about that? Whenever the hell they feel like it. Hey, Metroid Prime 4, they actually announced that game back in 2017. Yeah, well, you know, we'll show it to you whenever the hell we feel like it. Never mind that we could have been dropping teases this whole time to let people know it's actually still in development and actually going well. But Nintendo is going to Nintendo. So it's going to be interesting to see what, if anything, comes of this Jeff Grubb uh, speculative slash sourced report. You guys can go check out the full episode of his show if you like. I'll put a link down in the description. All I know is any excuse to talk Zelda is a good excuse around these parts. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this video and decide to subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is not my normal content. Usually Monday through Friday, we have what's called the Prime 5, which is our five biggest news stories from the last 24 hours within roughly 8 to 10 minutes. We try our best to keep it really condensed for you guys and hopefully entertaining and throw some jokes in. Not a lot of jokes today, just a lot of Zelda conversation. You guys let me know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next video.